How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got quite a wordy post from the old school RuneScape team. This is the future of Deadman Mode. So let's start off. Deadman Mode has been really successful and captured the imagination of lots of players. At this moment in time, it's really successful and has about 20,000 players logging in every single day. They're now into week 6 of Deadman Mode and they have to think about the long term health of the game mode so they can maintain its activity. In order to do this, they have the idea of having a seasonal Deadman Mode where players can compete against each other very quickly to get into the top players, and then all the top players from that Deadman Mode season will get entered into a tournament to get a chance to win $10,000. So, let's have a look at this seasonal Deadman Mode. In order to keep Deadman Mode relevant, they're going to introduce a new feature in April 2016, Seasonal Deadman Mode Worlds. The seasons will last three months, and the servers will be reset when it's over. They are aware that there are a number of players who want to keep playing the current Deadman mode for longer than 3 months, and they've already put a huge amount of effort into this. That's why the seasonal service will be an addition rather than a replacement of the current Deadman mode worlds. Anyone who plays on the current Deadman mode servers will not have their progress reset. Prior to each season, they will allow players to decide if they want additional rules for that season. For example, you may want a season with Dragon Claws, PvP armor, or other things like that. So if you've got any ideas for seasons, let the old school RuneScape team know, presumably on the forums, Twitter, and all those regular places you can communicate with them. So it's all very well and good saying we're going to have a seasonal deadman mode where it gets reset after 3 months, but what happens to all those accounts, and where is the benefit of having this? Well, the high scores for each season will be immortalised on their website, so your progress will always be there for everyone to see. If the season finishes and you're in the top 5,000 players of the high scores, you'll be invited to take part in the Deadman Mode Season Tournament. Which, if you win, you can get up to $10,000 prize money. The Deadman Mode Seasonal Tournament will run for just 4 days, and there will be greatly increased XP and buff drop tables. Throughout the tournament, the guarded zones will disappear, making the map more and more dangerous. The tournament servers will just work exactly like regular Deadman Modes do now, until it gets to the last 2 hours. Everyone logged into a tournament world at that time will be moved into an arena with every other player. No players will be able to join the game after the 2 hour time of passes, and if you die during those 2 hours, you will not be able to continue in the tournament. The last player alive will win $10,000. So to kick this off, the first Deadman Mode Season Tournament will take place at the end of March 2016. All the players who are on the top 5,000 of the current Deadman Mode high scores at the time are the only players who will get invited to join it. So if you're currently a Deadman Mode player and you want to get in that tournament, make sure you get yourself into the top 5,000 players on Deadman Mode. So, Deadman Mode players will probably be quite interested in this, having a seasonal Deadman Mode that resets every 3 months, and then if you get in the top 5,000 players of that, you get a chance to win $10,000. Obviously that will be really nice to win, however I imagine it will be really hard. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that this seasonal Deadman Mode will keep Deadman Mode relevant in 2016 onwards, or do you think it's something else entirely? Personally, I think it will do really well for the first few seasons, and then it will probably teeter off a little bit. If you want to watch the latest old school RuneScape update, please click here for the key update and seaweed. And if you want to know what's happening in December 2015, please click here for the month ahead post. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with the old school RuneScape updates, dev blocks and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.